For several years, Nigeria's oil refineries have been struggling. All three of them are dated and frequently break down. As such, the oil-producing giant relies on exporting crude and importing the refined petroleum products to meet domestic demands. Successive governments have made attempts to fix the aging refineries with no success. The Wari, Port Akut and Kaduna refineries have a total capacity to process 445,000 barrels of crude oil, but they barely function at 10% capacity. Now the government wants to revive them and find private entities to run them, but it might have to trade off some substantial values to interest private companies. Today, the reality is still that the pricing mechanism for downstream products is such that very few people will undertake this sort of financing and have returns. So that's why we've tried to create a business model that ties them uh, to some level into the DSCP program, and that's still one in progress. When they have finished this and done their analysis, I will expect that they will then invite everybody who is interested once the commercial terms are set out to now come in and formally declare interest, not just the informal conversations that we had to determine the roadmap. The Petroleum Ministry has set a target of 2019 to end costly refined fuel imports. Besides seeking to repair existing refineries, it has also been interesting private entities to build new refineries. Among them is Dangote, who's already building a 650,000 barrel capacity. Ajib too has signed an MOU to build 150,000 barrels refineries capacity. Domestic demand for refined fuel runs into a staggering 40 million liters per day. That translates to about $8 billion annually. It's a colossal sum for a struggling economy. It's an emergency situation that we're in. Um, you know, uh, we're all getting comfortable with the fact that products are available all the time. It took a lot of work to get there. But if we don't plan ahead, that problem can catch up with us again. And that's part of the reason why it's just driving this whole, this whole policy. So um, I am committed to that. I think that 2019 is achievable. We're going to work hard at it. But everybody has to be employed. Even you, the, the, the press, journalists, will have to sensitize the society to why there's a need to achieve this. Nigerian government scrapped costly fuel subsidy last year. Consequently, the NNPC imports the bulk of the fuel that's been consumed. Now, over time, that too is becoming unsustainable. For instance, the Bureau of Statistics says over $21 million was spent daily on fuel imports, an amount the government can hardly afford after 60% of its revenue has been wiped out by low oil prices. Kelechi Mekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.